Hey, so what's up guys? Mantle with Droid Tech and look at what I just got. Finally got a GoPro in my hands. I know it's been out for a while but I was contemplating on whether to get it as uh, I already had an action camera. Of course it was a budget action camera and um, the reason I didn't get this and the other previous Hero series is because of the price and also the battery life wasn't that great and I couldn't find myself actually using an action camera because I mean like we use our phone cameras most of the time but um, the reason I got this finally decided to make this purchase actually was because I wanted a camera which has wide angle lens has a very wide field of view and um, was rugged at the same time I mean you know our phones are waterproof and all yes but when it comes to like really being rugged I think you really have to give it to the GoPro because their, their cameras are really rugged and I even have a case on my GoPro right here with even a lens cap so I think that's pretty sweet. The accessories for this camera is like endless. Uh, I'm not a pro at you know this this action camera market and stuff. I'm not really sure on what accessories to get. So if you have any suggestions, do let me know in the comments what do you think I should get for the, the GoPro Hero 6. Or if you have any accessories and we would like to give your feedback, do hit me up in the comments. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing. I got this actually at an even lower price at a 1700 ringgit from Ever Awards. I've known this guy for a couple of years now and he has been very reliable. If you're in the KL area, you can actually head over to them at uh, Plaza Laoya if you know where that is and actually get the GoPro from them. They also bundled a card over here. This is a 32 GB 100 megabytes per second card from Sandisk. Uh, this is also a V30 card which is GoPro compatible as you can see on the top So they're not giving you some trash cards which which normal stores actually give you know as a free gift They don't really care what they're giving. They just give you a card just to make you happy, but this actually they give a GoPro Compliant card, so I think that's really nice of them to actually give this I'll be actually collaborating with them in uh, future videos. We are in the uh, means of discussing Where I'll be actually getting my Sony a7 Mark III or Sony a7 III which uh, many know it as and that camera is going to be the bomb so I can't wait to actually get the camera okay let's get back to this camera so I've never actually owned a GoPro as you know probably by now and um, this will be actually an experience for me to actually unbox this in front of you it's, it's a first hand experience so from what I know there's actually a seal at the bottom so let me peel that seal off so from what I've seen in the previous videos actually it slides out from the bottom so yeah pretty much so this is where all the accessories will be and the camera is mounted on top let's get into the contents of the box so opening the bottom you can see there's some instructions on how to remove the camera from the plate I will be keeping this plate I think this plate shouldn't be thrown away even though it says we move right up there but I think I would rather keep it and mount it to something else maybe on a table or something for certain shots which I need so I'll be planning to get the camera grip as well so I think that's a still on the steeper price side. I could have gotten like maybe a Feiyutech gimbal for probably half the price. So I'll probably go for that option. But of course, it's not as seamless as having a GoPro made accessory. But anyway, let's move on. So we have GoPro Care here. So you break it, we'll replace it. I'll read that later and see what's all this about. I'm sure there are terms and conditions for everything. Marketing fluff right there. So GoPro stickers and instruction manual, yeah, important product and safety instructions. So I don't think you'll be reading any of this. I think these cameras are pretty straightforward. I mean, how complicated can it get? It's not like a DSLR or maybe a mirrorless camera or some professional high-end camera. So it's just a simple camera. Okay, so you can see some sticky mouse here. Two sticky mouse. I'll figure out what that is for. Okay, and then the battery. I heard this battery life is not so great. So I'll probably get myself another one you can see it's super small i was expecting it to be slightly bigger but it's really small my old action camera's battery is even bigger than that in terms of size in terms of capacity is uh, roughly around the same okay then you have a usb-c cable this is something i'm really happy about because i'm all about usb-c now so i've actually upgraded all my devices and everything to usb-c so i think this is a great addition to my kit Okay, so that's all for this side of the package. Let's check out the other side. Is there anything else? Okay, so there's nothing else in the package. Okay, so let me figure out how to get this thing off the mount. 
Ah, it's my first time, so... Okay, that worked. I got this thing out, should I be throwing this away? Okay, maybe I'll just keep it in there. Okay, so you can see this camera is pretty similar to my old action camera. Let me bring it for you. As you can see, my old camera is... has a screen attached, so it's slightly thicker, so I can remove this. Okay, so there's a screen right here, and this is my old camera. So I think you have probably seen this camera around. I have even a filter here, UV filter, right? This, this camera element is pretty screwed up, that's the reason I had to get this. So you can see size comparison. I can see that the GoPro is a lot heavier, of course I have this piece attached, I'll take it out and see how this goes. Let me figure out how to take this out. Should I be pulling this off? Oh, okay, alright. Figure it out. Let me get it out of this button right here. So I don't damage stuff. Okay, I got it out. Okay, you can see the GoPro is right here as compared to the Yi. So you can see the size is about the same. But of course, this doesn't have a screen. If the screen attached, it'll be even thicker. So you can see this has a touch screen right here. I, I need to get a screen protector before I scratch this up because I heard this screen really scratches up fast. Okay, on the side, you can see mode. Front is a small screen right here to just tell you basic information in terms of frame rate and you know the, the duration you can see the gopro branding right here and also on the side you can see hero 6 i'm not sure whether the lights are here it's right here you can see right there on the top you have the record button probably the power button is it okay maybe not the power button is right here okay you can see my first time in the bottom a speaker and battery door okay so it's pretty sturdy yeah I'm pretty impressed with the build I've already smudged the lens so great I have to clean it up later okay so what I like about this as compared with my previous action camera is that this action camera is not waterproof without the housing so I think with the housing it looks pretty ugly and it also impacts or affects the mic sound quality but I mean it's not great after all I usually do this for b-roll so it's not really you know my go-to camera but anyway and this is the LCD screen so if I fit this together with the old camera you can see how thick and bulky this is okay but anyway this, this camera has served me well I've used this on a couple of trips okay so that's about it for the unboxing I'll be using it and testing it out and see how this camera actually functions because I'm not really sure of the menu inter interface and all but I'll be posting shots on my Instagram page you can follow me on drivetech underscore official on Instagram and drivetech unbox on Facebook so I'll be taking some shots with the GoPro Hero 6 and I'll have my opinions right there in the description so you can check that out so that wraps it up for this video guys um, this has just been a quick unboxing and probably a size comparison with my previous camera and the reason why I got this and not another E camera and also the whole purpose of this GoPro right here so I think this camera is gonna be my daily camera if I'm not too lazy to carry it around anyways I'll just put in the battery and I'll plug into the charger and get it charged up see you guys and take care